The unofficial capital of North Queensland, Townsville, suffered a property crash back in 2008, but the market has never fully recovered. Townsville resident Heather White knows all too well about the ongoing crisis. She bought her five-bedroom family home back in 2007 for $355,000, but now more than a decade later, she's preparing to sell her property for a significant loss of almost $100,000. She told the ABC, The latest we've heard is someone might offer $260,000 and that's devastating, absolutely devastating. You can't get your head around it. It's insulting and it's heartbreaking. We completely repainted, we put new carpet down, we put new lighting through, we put security lights on, we put up security fencing. I don't know when I'm going to be able to retire. Without that money, I have to go back to work. I'm not a young woman. I'm 65 in March. I don't know when I'm going to be able to retire because we were counting on that. And when you're talking about a $100,000 loss, where do you go? What do you do? I get angry when I think about it now because it shouldn't be like this. In the lead up to 2008, construction was booming in Townsville to meet the demand of the region's mines, but then commodity prices fell, destroying tens of thousands of jobs in the process. Construction dried up and house prices fell 27.6% since the peak. Units fared even worse, plummeting 41.6%. Looking at recent property sales, a luxury waterfront unit was sold for almost $240,000 less than its purchase price. It was bought back in 2007 for about $639,000 and then sold last month for $400,000. This four-bedroom Cranbrook house was bought for $430,000 in 2007 and was sold in July this year for $245,000, a loss of $185,000. This three-bedroom suburban house was bought in January 2008 and sold in May at a loss of almost $118,000. This Unumba house sold last month at a loss of $120,000. I could go on, but I think you get the picture. You don't have to look very far in Townsville to see that many houses and apartments are being sold at a loss. Townsville real estate agent Graham Lindham spoke of the ongoing crisis in the city's property market. He said, The market fell off a cliff at the end of the region's mining boom. It's been a very slow erosion and it's continued to erode, and frankly we don't know if we've hit bottom yet. You often hear about the Sydney and Melbourne markets dropping 10% and there's an absolute panic, but you feel like in North Queensland this situation is lost on most politicians. I just get frustrated with the fact we're simply forgotten about. Wayne Nicholson, representative for Queensland's Peak Property Lobby Group, the Real Estate Institute of Queensland, spoke of the city's current housing market crisis. He said, I've never seen anything as bad as what we've had. The market has been diabolical, without sugarcoating anything. If you get a $7,000 grant from the government, you could potentially own a house in Townsville for less than you're paying in rent. And that's the state of the Townsville housing market. Two bedroom units selling for around $120,000. Three bedroom suburban houses for around $150,000. Even if you want to live right in the city, you can pick up a three bedroom fully furnished unit inside a gated complex for around $360,000. Hmm, maybe I should move.